we have quite a number of people in the audience already, and that's so good. Um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you so much for um, joining us on this warm Tuesday evening. Um, a very uh, warm welcome to all of you who are here for the info session about Hanoi Rethink and Distributed Design Masterclass. Um, joining us tonight are um, very interesting speakers, and I'm sure you will have a very good evening. Uh, may I uh, um, it kindly remind you to uh, rename your screen name uh, to your name underscore organization's name. Các bạn vui lòng rename tên đầy đủ gạch dưới tên đơn vị của các bạn nha. And also, uh, Please mute your microphone and unmute it only when you would like to speak. Vui lòng bấm mute để không bật micro và khi mà các bạn sẵn sàng nói chuyện thì hãy bật nó lên. And lastly, uh, I would like to uh, inform you that we would like to record this session uh, for the benefit of those who cannot make it on this weekday evening. Um, Chương trình sẽ được uh, ghi lại để um, chia sẻ với những bạn dù um, rất là muốn tham gia nhưng mà bận rộn nên không uh, có thể sắp xếp tối nay được. Thì các bạn có thể um, uh, xem lại cái video mà mình sẽ post lên trên cái trang của lớp học vào ngày mai. So, um, First up, um, I would like to uh, introduce our speakers tonight. Uh, Ms. Tao from Unido Vietnam, Mr. Shell Sundin from Unido HQ in Austria, uh, Ms. Uh, Nitali Parikh from Fab City Foundation, and also Jessica from uh, Fab Lab Barcelona. My name is Mai, and I will be the MC for the evening. Um, this is the program for you to take a look at. Well, we maybe waiting for a couple of more guests. So first up, uh, I would like to uh, um, welcome you to um, the creative vision of Hanoi, uh, which is aiming to become the creative hub of Southeast Asia. And um, uh, for the um, opening remark, I would like to welcome Ms. Tao from Unido Vietnam uh, to join us. Chị Thảo, please you. take it away. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Mai, for your warm introduction. Distinguished guests, from Fab Labs and Creative Hubs in Vietnam, dear colleagues from UNIDO and Fab City Foundation, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, I would like to warmly welcome you all to our info session today on distributed design masterclass and a design contest. These are two of the three main activities being executed by UNIDO under a joint program entitled Mobilizing Culture Dynamics and Youth Participation for Hanoi Creative Capital. The joint program is funded by Sovico Group and is implemented by three United Nations agencies, namely UNESCO, UN Habitat, and UNIDO. The joint program's main objective is to empower Vietnamese creative talents especially young people to influence and contribute to the new development agenda of Hanoi as the creative capital. As you may know, Hanoi was recognized as UNESCO Creative City of Design in 2019. And since then, Hanoi has committed to place culture and creativity at the core of its sustainable development with a wider vision to become a leading creative hub of Southeast Asia. Ladies and gentlemen, as a UN specialized agency, 
UNIDO provides technical support to various industrial sectors, including creative sector, to generate job opportunities and empower entrepreneurs, youth groups and communities to transform the sector and its industrial landscapes with innovation and to respond to new opportunities. UNIDO recognizes the integral role of culture and creativity in industrial development and the importance of combining culture with innovation and opportunity-driven entrepreneurship. We are proud to be a trusted partner in Vietnam for over more, uh, 40 years, promoting inclusive and sustainable industrial and economic development in the country. UNIDO is very pleased to join force with FAP City Foundation and FAP Lab Network to kickstart this small but very interesting program with the hope that we could trigger the creativity potentials of young designers and entrepreneurs to combine rich cultural heritage of Hanoi with diverse knowledge and most advanced technology to create products that are competitive and appreciated by both industry and creative communities. Yet, in order to translate this ambition into reality, it requires a concerted effort from each and every one institutional and individual partners, and most importantly, those of you present today. Therefore, I would like to call for your proactive engagement and strong commitment to support each other's efforts so that we could all achieve the desired objectives. I hope that you will find the information shared today interesting and attractive. I would like to thank FAP City Foundation and FAP Lab Network for organizing this event. And I would like to conclude by wishing you all good health, happiness, and endless curiosity and creativity. Xin cảm ơn. Thank you, Ms. Tao, for a very warm evening remark. Next up, I would like to invite um, Mitali Pari from FAF City to introduce about the project. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Mitali Pari, uh, representing the FAF City Foundation. Uh, the FAF City is FAF City is a global initiative aimed at uh, making cities more productive, more resilient, and more open. Um, uh, we do this uh, uh, using a fundamental approach that uh, moves uh, that 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 transforms the way cities produce and cities consume uh, everything. Right. So from older uh, models of consumerism and capitalism, where products products uh, come in, we uh, uh, we use a lot of ex extractive. Uh, manufacturing techniques, uh, fly them halfway around the world, uh, manufacture them, and then use them in completely different parts of the world again. And uh, at the end of their life cycles, they generally go to waste. We call this the PETO or the product in trash out system, where uh, the trash goes back onto the planet and we can do nothing with it. And we're trying to uh, tra transform this approach to, uh, con to consumption and production into a newer model called DDO, which is data in, data out, uh, where all the production, all the manu manufacturing happens in smaller, more local ecosystems. And the knowledge or what we call the bits is what is freely shared across um, the world um, using a lot less energy. Uh, and uh, it's it's a big challenge for a city to consume uh, uh, to produce everything that it consumes, right? So the Fab City in 2014, uh, starting with the city of Barcelona and the then mayor there, they launched an open challenge to the cities of the world uh, to in the in uh, with a 40 40 year timeline, uh, which ends in 2054. Um, an open challenge saying. Uh, let's essentially uh, produce everything we can um, 
uh, it let's produce everything we we consume uh, in this timeline um and uh, right now as of as of this year um, there are 41 uh, uh, members uh, this includes cities these include a couple of states a couple of uh, bio regions and countries as well but we have now 41 members in the network and it grows every year uh, uh, cities pledge and join the network during the annual uh, Fab City Summit, which we'll also talk about uh, later on um, towards the, the end of the presentation today. Uh, uh, this year, it's going to happen uh, in October. And uh, it's this is a very uh, good opportunity for uh, everyone uh, involved uh, to, to, uh, to start thinking of Hanoi as becoming a fab city in the future as well, right? Um, and one of the one of, and to to approach this challenge, one of the uh, one of the key frameworks uh, we work with is the fab city full stack, which uh, the fab city full stack, which is also a tool for implementation for cities and also a framework for uh framework framework to to situate efforts across different scales and af across different models uh of actions right uh, so starting from the bottom it uh, uh, uh we developing technologies and infrastructure for distributed production that's where all the creative hubs all the fab labs would kind of sit uh uh, making new forms of education, new forms of learning through these, uh, uh, through these, uh, in, in, uh, through this open infrastructure, uh, the products that come out of these places, incubating and accelerating them into project, uh, into projects uh, with uh, innovative business models that go out and make a difference in the real world. Uh, working with local communities, with local organizations, uh, creating sort of a closed, uh, an open ecosystem at a local scale. Uh, also developing a lot of territorial uh, strategies going beyond the city and working, uh, uh, working with uh, the non, the beyond human aspects of, uh, uh, aspects of products, of services, um, uh, uh, and the most important uh, for the DDO model, sharing sharing this knowledge through the global network uh, uh, as uh, as openly as possible and collaborating. So this is one of the key uh, uh, models that we use, um, and all our efforts are generally situated within one or more of these layers. Um, and coming back to uh, Hanoi, we think uh, there are a, there are a couple of these are the stages of activities we are looking at as a part of distrib the or the distributor design masterclass. Right, the first section is a training uh, training uh, for for the creative hubs for um, for for uh, for you people. This will be uh, a, a, a customized version of the distributed design academy that Jess and Daphne from uh, Fab Lab Barcelona will talk about later on. Uh, then there is uh, an open design contest. We'd like to organize a lot co-creating with you guys and also uh, open to all creatives irrespective of their particular fields in Hanoi and uh, around. Uh, and we'll uh, also uh, kind of set a, a global stage at a lot of uh, events, including the Fab, the Bali Fab Fest, uh, which is the annual Fab Network and the Fab City Network Conference, which is ha which is happening in October. Uh, the Fab Academy program, a, pro a, a, a course on how to make almost anything. Uh, which a lot if a lot of you guys are from fab labs might be knowing about and also the vietnam design week which is happening in november uh, later this year right and then uh, from the design contest uh, uh, the winners and the mentors basically working together uh, creating 
and developing these projects uh, further. Uh, so these are the roughly the three stages uh, that we're uh, that we're talking about as a part of the distributor design masterclass. Um, I, I will leave it to Fab Lab uh, uh, Barcelona to explain it in detail. Uh, but essentially, we will start on the fourteenth of June, which is next Tuesday, and then uh, end around twelfth of July which uh, like and have have sessions every week uh, this will be uh, coordinated by my uh, 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 and uh, will be uh, will be will be um, led by fabla barcelona uh, the design contest later on will have um, a couple of different stages where uh, where you will get you will get a chance to co-create the design theme uh, that we open up to uh, the general public. Uh, have a, have a, a, a chance to prototype shortlisted winners as a part of stage one to develop their ideas a little further. Uh, and through a panel of uh, jury members, uh, kind of shortlist about two to four uh, winners who will, uh, as a part of the creative project development, develop their individual projects over a month, over the months of October, November, and December, which is also the time during which uh, we we'll take part in the Fab Fest Bali as well as the Vietnam Design Week, uh, and guided by uh, uh, mentors, uh, facilitated by uh, Fab City and the Fab Network, and uh, 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 and 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 of course, uh, you guys and the winners. Um, so to get into more details of the three stages, I would now like to ask uh, uh, Mai to introduce Fab Lab Barcelona. Thanks, Mai. Thanks, Nitali, uh, for an overview of uh, Fab City and. Um, Next, I would like to welcome Jessica from FabLab Barcelona to uh, share with us the exciting stuff in store uh, from the Distributed Design Masterclass. Thank you very much, Mai, and thank you, Mitali, for the great uh, introduction to uh, Fab City. <laughs> also, thank you, Ms. Tao, um, for giving the framework of in which all of this is happening. I highly appreciated the introduction from your side as well. Um, so welcome everyone and uh, nice to meet you all. My name is Jessica Guy. I work for Fab Lab Barcelona and I'm here together with Daphne. Um, if you want to introduce yourself quickly, Daphne. Hi, uh, I'm Daphne uh, Gerodimo. I work also for the Fab Lab and we will work together in the distributed um, design project. So nice to meet you all. Thank you, Daphne. Um, Mitali, could you move towards the next uh, slide of the presentation, may I ask you? Even one more. Perfect, thank you so much. Um, so we're rep representing today Fab Lab Barcelona and we're going to introduce to you the Distributed Design uh, Academy, which will be, as Mitali has mentioned before, a customized version um, for specifically our context. So as we have heard before from Ms. Tao, um, the idea is that we are in the framework uh, in a collaboration with Unido, Inesco, and Habitat uh, looking forward how we can complement and um, work towards a Hanoi Creative City or Hanoi Creative Hub as one of the key players in, in your region. So Fabla Barcelona, for the ones who do not uh, know it, is a research and innovation center located in Barcelona and is part of the Fab's, uh, Fab Lab network. We also um, not only work on a global scale, but also a lot in our local neighborhood on a local level with our research. Um, as I mentioned before, Daphne, as well as I, will introduce you to a five weeks uh, project uh, program which will 
um, give you an idea of uh, what distributed design means in your potential local context. And we will give you um, some practical tools, inspiration, and some exercises that you might support you on your trans personal transition towards your um, design context. So the five weeks program, as you see here on the COPS uh, training uh, presentation site, uh, will start next week on the 14th of June with the first session. We'll then be um, every Tuesday at your local time at eight o'clock for two hours. Um, just finishing on the 12th of July, finally. May you please move to the next slide? Thank you, Italy. Um, each of the session is specifically designed for your context and with some inspirational um, input from distributed design in collaboration with Fab City, right? So, for example, for session number one, we will give you a brief into, um, introduction to what it means, what distributed design means. This introduction will be held by Daphne and me. And we will really look into the intersection of the maker movement and distributed design, what it means in practical terms, what it means in values, what it means to design sustainability, how to design open, how to design inclusive and collaboratively. The session two will talk about sustainable practices. For this session, we have Marion Rial, um, one of our dear colleagues, um, joining from France, actually, for this moment. Um, she has a doc doctor in systemic design, and she will talk about how to get the bigger picture, the bigger view into and identifying concrete um, areas of interventions for practical applications. Then furthermore, we will go into uh, um, session number three, which talks about open source practices. We will have the guest speakers, Oscar Gonzalez, one moment. Sorry, there was busy in the lab and I barely hear myself when people are talking behind me. <laughs> Sorry for this. Um, session number three will be about um, open source practices. We will have Oscar Gonzalez and Guillaume Camprodon um, joining for this session. And we will talk about very practical terms about what it means to design uh, open source. Then session number four will be about inclusive practices and uh, our new colleague uh, Olga Trevisan from Italy will be joining for this session. And finally, uh, Alessandra Schmidt and Milena Juarez will be joining for our last session, Collaborative Practices, which is talking about more detailed again about open and collaborative design approaches to co-design and to challenge uh, power imbalances locally and so forth. Um, may you please move to the next slide? Thank you, Nitali. Um, so in general, each session is designed in a similar way. Um, as I mentioned before, each session has like a general topic, which will be um, the first part of the session of the two hours, where we'll have an inspirational talk of our guest speaker. Afterwards, we will be open for a Q&A session in which you can really have share any of the questions you might have. Um, for example, how to apply certain topics in your local context or uh, maybe any other practical questions or even questions for links and resources that you might need um, in your future work. And then the second part of the session after a short break would be an immersive exercise slash collective exercise. In this, we would try to apply what we have learned or heard about before in the inspirational talk in a very practical manner. Um, we hope that with that, we can kind of guide you through the process and how to apply specific uh, concepts in your local um, surroundings as well. Obviously, we're always very open for, uh, for feedback at any moment. So hence, we have the last 10 to 15 mo uh, minutes of each session um, as an open conversation uh, for reflections, for needs or anything that any of you might have to make sure that whatever feedback you may provide, we can include in the next um, session as much as possible. So this is the overall idea for the Distributed Design Academy part. We hope to lead through that towards your design contest and uh, we hope you will get all creative in your local respective areas.
Thank you very much. Thank you, Jessica, for a very interesting uh, intro about the uh, upcoming activities as part of the uh, Distributed Design Masterclass. Uh, will you get a chance to share with us what's happening in FabLab Barcelona as well? <laughs> Seems very uh, active over there. Of course, the aim is that in our uh, in our sessions we will talk about not only our general ideas about open, sustainable, inclusive, and collaborative design, but really share best practices from the lab itself. So if you attend, we can we can share exactly these kind of topics with you. That's wonderful. Thank you. Um, so uh, next, just to reiterate uh, on the uh, design context that uh, Mitali has mentioned a while back. Um, I will just uh, give you um, some ideas about what's in store uh, after the course. Uh, there will be a design contest uh, comprising of three stages. Um, the first one is um, the launch in July followed by a project submission, and you will have roughly a month to uh, submit all your creative ideas, uh, especially after you have been empowered by the uh, new tools and knowledge uh, from the uh, design masterclass. And um, we will have a jury shortlist um, to 20 to 30 ideas. And with that, um, the hubs that are being trained as part of the uh, um, the uh, masterclass will uh, work with creatives to develop their ideas uh, in uh, the two months that follow from August to September. And at the end of it, uh, the three winning ideas will have, um, um, uh, the three winning ideas will have um, a great chance to uh, be sponsored to the FAFES at Bali, Uh, could we have the next slide, Mitali? So what you will gain from this experience is the um, co-creation uh, with all the creative hubs in Hanoi on the theme of the contest. It's rare to get a chance to design a competition, right? So you will have it here in this program. And then of course, um, you will get an opportunity to uh, work with uh, all the labs and hubs from the uh, network. And also um, at the end, you get to share the projects at a global Fab Lab conference and Fab City Summit. And not only that, um, next slide, Mitali. So after all these uh, exciting uh, project development, uh, where you get to, you know, uh, collaborate with other people and uh, be guided by experienced uh, mentors in the ecosystem of Hanoi Creative City. Um, you will uh, get a chance and su be supported by the three UN agencies to uh, showcase your creative outcome at uh, as part of Vietnam Design Week, which is happening in uh, November. So um, that's, um, I hope that will uh, get you excited about the uh, upcoming activities. And uh, Mitali, uh, would you like to uh, share a little bit more about uh, what's happening in Bali in October? Um, so over and above the Vietnam Design Week, uh, we also have the, an, uh, the annual uh, FAB Network uh, uh, FAB Summit, the annual FAB Summit the annual FAB City Summit uh, and the annual FAB Asia Network Summit all combined into one mega event this year in Bali called the FAB Fest Bali. Uh, it's it's uh, uh, focused around theme of designing emergent realities with, and um, distributed design being a major part of uh, designing emergent realities. Uh, and uh, so the projects, uh, the developments uh, will have a chance to showcase uh, uh, and present their work during the FabFest Bali as well. Um, uh, 
uh, and get get feedback not only only from um, get get feedback essentially from the uh, uh, entire global network, uh, which is a great uh, uh, opportunity. And then there is also um, a chance to participate in uh, the Fab Academy, which starts uh, every January. Uh, so if 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 one of uh, there is an opportunity to participate and do the the diploma course uh, Fab Academy starting in uh, January by being one of the nodes of the network. Uh, uh, so a lot of interesting opportunities there. And uh, uh, my shell, I, I'm, I'm not sure who's going to do the next part. Um, so uh, right after uh, this, the end of this call, you will uh, get to uh, register for this masterclass, um, and we will pop a link in uh, at the end. But before that, um, I would like to uh, thank all our speakers for all your sharing. And uh, uh, next, we would like to have uh, some Q&A time with you. Next slide, Mitali. Thank you. So, um, if you does anyone from the audience have a question? Um, uh, yes, uh, Ms. Han from UNESCO, raise her hand. Uh, yes, hello everyone. Uh, thank you for the presentation and very comprehensive information. Uh, I just have a quick question. Um, so as I noticed that the trainers gotta be, um, most of the trainers are not Vietnamese. So I wonder if the classes will be conducted in English only or there will be simultaneous translation for the audience. So the classes itself are in English from my side, as I am myself not Vietnamese, obviously. Um, but however, we can talk, Mitali, um, Mai, maybe how we can collaboratively host a session to ease, um, obviously, with the translation. That's a really good point that you're um, bringing up there. Thank you very much. Um, câu hỏi của uh, chị Hân là um các cái um, instructor cho khóa học ấy là từ uh, um, Barcelona và nói tiếng Anh thì không biết là có cái uh, uh, người dịch uh, live trong khóa học hay không thì uh, um, Jessica cũng vừa chia sẻ là uh, khóa học thì bằng tiếng Anh và các cái nội dung được chia sẻ qua slide vân vân uh, cũng sẽ bằng tiếng Anh uh, nhưng mà nếu uh, um, um, Uh, các bạn có thể tham gia được cái thì uh, tụi mình sẽ uh, cố gắng để mà chuyển tải những cái nội dung trọng yếu sang tiếng việt cho bạn và trong cái khóa học đó, nếu mà bạn có cái câu hỏi gì uh, muốn hỏi các cái uh, diễn giả hoặc là uh, giáo viên thì thì là tụi mình sẵn sàng là uh, chia sẻ câu hỏi của bạn uh, dịch từ tiếng việt sang tiếng anh để mọi người có thể trao đổi Uh, Ms. Han, I hope that answers your question. Uh, yes, um, it's just that I think because uh, as we discussed before, UNESCO can support uh, distributing um, the information about this program, which I find like the program is very interesting. And I hope there's like um, a wider audience group that can get access to the information. So I think it's quite important to state it Uh, clearly, whether the program is going to be conducted in English or Vietnamese or both, uh, or like how you can support the Vietnamese translation. So, um, I mean, people can get to know and register because, um, yeah, obviously, uh, language is under the barrier. So that's the reason why. Uh, but then, yeah. Mm. So I think, as you said, there will be interpretation, right? Um, 
uh, we were we are not professional interpreters, uh, Ms. Tu and I, uh, <laughs> but we will do our best to uh, help to translating uh, the concerns and questions of the participants to English. Yeah, but, okay. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the uh, just to um, uh, set the the um, expectation, <laughs> we we uh, are not live, um, you know, translators. So. Uh, at the okay, end of the yeah. day, yeah, yeah, we will um, do whatever we can. Acknowledging that uh, language is uh, an issue for some of the participants. Yeah. Okay, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you. Next question. Any other question? Please feel free to um, raise your hand. And uh, it may be, um, I see that um, there are some uh, participants here who join in later and uh, we're not sure where you're from. So uh, if you could um, change your name uh, and you know, provide your organization's name, that would be much appreciated. Thank you. À, có một số bạn vào sau á, mà à, ban tổ chức không biết là bạn đến từ đâu thì à, bạn vui lòng à, để thêm cái tên của tổ chức à, để tụi mình có thể à, biết được cái à, background của mọi người và sắp xếp cái nội dung cho nó tốt hơn. Um, Otherwise, uh, we just dropped um, the link to register for the course in the chat box. Um, so, so, uh, sorry, my I think Shell has a question. Okay, uh, please go ahead, Shell. I have a question that some of the participants here are perhaps too shy to ask. How much will it cost to participate in this training? Excellent question. Um, câu hỏi là um, tham gia khóa học này có tốn tiền hay không? Học phí là bao nhiêu? Um, so um, the course is free for uh, participants who can uh, commit to follow the project. Uh, not only you know uh, the course, but also uh, supporting um, the project developments uh, from the contest. So the idea is uh, that you will be, um, you know, the experts in this area, so that you can support other people in the ecosystem. Khóa học này miễn phí nếu như mà bạn có thể cam kết là sẽ tham gia đến cuối, tức là không chỉ khóa học mà còn là cuộc thi và đồng hành cùng cuộc thi và giúp các cái ý tưởng của các bạn khác nữa đến tham gia vào cái cuộc thi. Và cái cái mong muốn của ban tổ chức là các bạn sẽ là những đầu tàu, những cái người mà có chuyên môn về thiết kế phân tán để có thể chia sẻ kiến thức lại với cộng đồng nữa. Um, I hope that answers the, uh, your question. Uh, có bạn nào có thắc mắc gì nữa không thì có thể là um, viết trong chat box hoặc là um, nói tiếng Việt rồi mình sẽ um, dịch ra tiếng Anh cho các diễn giả có thể uh, tương tác. Uh, so um, if I may for a moment, Mai. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, it might be that some questions would arise uh, throughout the week or that you have some thoughts or concerns. So please feel free to um, 
reach out to your local coordinator may but also directly to me um, I can share my email here if you have any any questions or doubts and we're Daphne and I are obviously uh, very much available to to share more information or any um, any answers that we can give um, prior to the training itself just to let you know Thank you, Jessica. Um, chị Jessica vừa uh, chia sẻ là có thể uh, một số bạn ở đây uh, hiện giờ chưa có câu hỏi nhưng mà uh, trong quá trình đăng ký hoặc là uh, uh, tìm hiểu về dự án thì các bạn sẽ có những câu hỏi khác cho nên là có thể email cho uh, Jess hoặc là um, bằng tổ chức. Uh, mọi người uh, ở đây uh, nhân tiện thì ban tổ chức có thể hỏi mọi người luôn là uh, mọi người có um, khó khăn gì về mặt uh, thời gian nếu như mà tham gia cái khóa học quá khóa học thì được uh, dự định là sẽ tổ chức vào mỗi tối thứ ba hàng tuần từ 8 giờ tối đến uh, 10 giờ tối dự kiến là như vậy có ai không tham gia được vào những cái khung giờ đó không? So uh, I'm asking if uh, um, participants here have any difficulty with the uh, timing proposed uh, for the course, which is Tuesday, uh, 8 to 10 p.m. Vietnam time. Trong cái, uh, um, um, có một cái um, uh, câu hỏi mà có thể là có các bạn cũng muốn nhưng mà chưa có uh, mạnh dạng giơ tay là trong quá trình là tham gia cuộc thi á, và phát triển ý tưởng thì có cái uh, kinh phí để thực hiện hay không? Có bạn nào có thắc mắc đó không ạ? So... Uh, I'm asking a question on uh, everyone's behalf, which is, uh, is there a budget for the idea, the project development after the course? Uh, if you do, uh, please raise your hand. Nếu như mà bạn có thắc mắc đó thì bạn có thể giơ tay. The good news is uh, we do have a budget to support the hubs to uh, so, uh, collaborate with um, participants and um, contestants to develop ideas. So how much uh, depends on um, the projects that are being submitted. So uh, we will work with the hubs to um, uh, decide uh, what is feasible À, tin vui là có cái ban tổ chức có cái um, uh, kinh phí để hỗ trợ các cái hấp và các bạn tham dự cuộc thi uh, cùng kiến tạo cái, uh, một cái và phát triển ý tưởng dự án. Uh, còn cụ thể um, kinh phí là bao nhiêu thì thực ra là cũng tùy vào cái, um, cái um, uh, ý tưởng mà các bạn uh, nộp đơn. Và ba cái ý tưởng mà được uh, thắng giải cuối cùng uh, được chọn ra vào cuối tháng 9 thì sẽ được uh, uh, các team đó sẽ có đại diện được mời đi uh, Bali để tham dự hội nghị. Um, we have a new question from uh, Miss Hun. Is there any age range for participants? And do they have to have previous design knowledge? Uh, Jessica, I think you uh, would like to answer this. Um, Thank câu you. Hỏi là, uh, sorry, uh, câu hỏi là um, um, cuộc thi có quy định gì về độ tuổi không? Và 
à, các cái uh, người tham dự cuộc thi thì có bắt buộc là phải có hiểu biết về thiết kế trước. Uh, Jessica, go ahead. Please. Thank you. Thank you for the translation as well. Um, no, there is no age range for the participants. Um, obviously, anyone is an invited to, to join uh, at any level. Obviously, um, we try to adapt to uh, whoever is joining. So it might be that in case their age difference is quite uh, big, that we maybe have to split up in certain moments, for example, the exercise to adapt the content in, in the moment. It would be good for us to know it prior. So if you know that, for example, uh, teenagers would uh, uh, attend, then please let us know. And we try to adapt the, the content, part of the content to a younger generation, for example, vice versa for any area of age. And um, do any participants have to have previous design knowledge? Um, no, you do not have for our like sessions, you do not have to have any previous design knowledge. Obviously, it's always great if you do. But um, the idea is really that this academy is an introdu introduction to distributed design. So you can come with any previous knowledge. And I think one thing I always like to share is that um, anyone can and is already a maker or a designer in some way. So um, I think this is always a great way to, to start with this kind of mindset. <laughs> I hope that helps. Yeah, thank you, it's very clear. Uh, thank you, uh, Jessica. Um, for the benefits of those who have uh, language difficulties, I'll translate what she was saying. Um, um, tuyên vui là không có giới hạn về độ tuổi và ngay cả các bạn mà ở tuổi teen cũng có thể tham gia. Thì uh, chỉ cần uh, các bạn uh, đăng ký và ban tổ chức sẽ uh, uh, điều chỉnh nội dung phù hợp cho các bạn. À, bên cạnh đó thì à, không nhất thiết là bạn phải à, có cái kiến thức về thiết kế trước à, cái à, khóa học này á, thì hướng đến à, rất là à, à, có thể gọi là khán giả tương đối đại trà để cho mọi người à, có thể là cùng nhau à, à, tạo ra những cái à, à, dự án mà nó mang tính gọi là inclusive và bao trùm hơn Uh, that's it. Yeah. Anyone else with a question? I think there's a raised hand if I see correctly. Uh, yes. Um, Bằng Giang ơi, bằng, bằng Giang có thể unmute. Uh. Cảm ơn. Ừ, thì em đang xem cái form ấy. Thì em có mấy câu hỏi mà thử nó dành cho form thôi. Ví dụ như là cái phần một bỏ form thì cái câu cuối là cái digital fabrication ấy. Thì em đang muốn là mọi người làm rõ cái định nghĩa của cái digital fabrication nó là gồm những cái gì ạ? Ở đây là câu hỏi thứ nhất ạ. Cái câu hỏi thứ hai là ở cái phần form thì nó có ghi, nó có nói về cái hub ấy. Nhưng mà ví dụ như là em muốn tham gia với tư cách của một cái người độc lập này. Hoặc là một cái người mà kiểu thuộc một cái nhóm nghệ thuật thể nghiệm nhưng mà kiểu nhóm tự phát ấy. Thì liệu là mình có phải điền cái phần đấy không? Hoặc là nếu mà mà không thì mình mình cần điền như thế nào? Đấy, thì, thì có hai cái câu hỏi đấy ạ. Uh, cảm ơn Bang Yang. Um, so Bang Yang has raised uh, the question of uh, what is digital fabrication? Uh, that's the first one. Uh, and the second question is um, uh, if uh, she is from an independent uh, arts um, um, artist community or artist group uh, without uh, you know, a space, with equipments uh, for digital fabrication, is it okay? I assume this is directed to me, Mike, correct? Uh, yes. Thank you. Um, so first of all, thanks for your question. 
Um, so what is digital fabrication would be partially covered in, in our sessions itself. But let me introduce to, to you maybe uh, briefly what digital fabrication is. Uh, it means that any, if you are working, for example, with wood or metal, this is um, crafting working by hands. However, if you are including um, tools such as uh, a CNC machine or a 3D printer, which is numeric tools, for example, or 3D design or 2D design, then is when we're going into the direction of digital fabrication. It's including digital aspects. But as I mentioned, it will be within uh, the sessions when we go in more detail when we talk about this. Um, and then the other thing is, do you need any fabrication tools yourself for the uh, the Design Academy? For the Academy itself, you will not need any, um, as I mentioned, previous knowledge or tools. Everything will be provided in a digital space. We will talk with each other. We do exercises online. Um, however, I think for the design context uh, contest afterwards, if you are collaborating maybe with a fab lab or with a makerspace, this is exactly where um, you could exchange maybe knowledge and skills for the spaces and vice versa, right? So the collaboration happens on the on the local level afterwards. Um, Bang Yang, ơi, uh, cảm ơn em. Uh, uh, À, hỏi uh, hai câu hỏi này um, chị xin dịch nha um, thứ nhất là uh, có cần uh, thứ nhất là digital fabrication là gì tức là chế tác uh, uh, kỹ thuật số là như thế nào thì uh, chị Jessica có chia sẻ là um, uh, nó là những cái uh, phương tiện để mà chế tác như là uh, máy in 3D hay là uh, máy cắt laser máy CNC À, để mà có thể um, 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 ứng dụng trên các cái uh, chất liệu khác nhau như là gỗ hoặc là nhựa uh, và không cần phải uh, biết về um, digital fabrication trước khi mà tham gia các khóa học. Um, cái um, trong lúc mà um, uh, tham gia thì các bạn cũng có thể học hỏi thêm từ các cái pháp lab là những cái công xưởng chế tạo khác tham gia cùng cái dự án này um, và cái câu hỏi thứ hai của em á, là um, nếu như mà mình không có từ một cái uh, hấp hoặc là một cái không gian với những cái uh, máy móc như vậy thì có thể tham gia được không thì câu trả lời là hoàn toàn được à, hy vọng là um, Câu hỏi của em đã được giải đáp. Nếu mà có thắc mắc gì nữa thì em cứ chia sẻ thêm nha. May I? May? Yes. Um, Shell, please go ahead. But perhaps you could also mention a few words about the community platform, which is created precisely for this case where, where you need to get in touch with someone who has the equipment perhaps and you don't know where to go. That's a great suggestion. Um, so Shell, ông Shell Watson Dinh vừa chia sẻ là trong cái khóa học, trong cái quá trình tham gia khóa học thì các bạn sẽ có thể network với nhau qua một cái platform gọi là Hilo thì cái platform đó có thể là nó giống như là một cái forum để các bạn có thể đặt câu hỏi chia sẻ thông tin hoặc là giải đáp thắc mắc từ từ các bạn đồng môn hoặc là trao đổi với lại giáo viên Uh, một trong những cái uh, mục đích của cái platform đó là cũng để cho các cái không gian uh, sáng tạo có thể là uh, trao đổi và chia sẻ nguồn lực uh, với nhau ví dụ như là có những cái uh, ví dụ như pháp lab thì có um, uh, máy khoan hoặc là uh, máy cắt thì bạn nào cần á, thì có thể là um, uh, tạo một cái request xong rồi các cái bên khác sẽ vào hỗ trợ và chia sẻ cái nguồn lực với nhau Uh, 
Um, Mitali? Yes. Should we should we uh, share the screen of the platform so that uh, other participants can uh, share the Hilo platform screen? How yeah. about I can I can put a link to the um, uh, platform here on the chat and people can start joining it. That'll be awesome. Sure. Yeah. Just give me one yeah. minute. Thank you, Shell, for bringing up this great question. So Mitali will be uh, sharing the uh, Hilo website. Uh, so I have shared a link to the Hilo digital community platform. Um, so I do invite all of you to uh, join uh, the Vietnam creative community. Uh, as you will see, the platform offers a lot of opportunity to exchange not only information and knowledge, but also resources to map your uh, also also features to map your resources. So you can offer them um, to other people or you can look for it uh, in your neighborhoods. So people who uh, want to look for digital, particular digital fabrication tools are looking for a lab or a space. Uh, uh, it's a dynamic, it has a dynamic map uh, and you, uh, you can find sources here. Uh, if you join today, it's going to be empty. But you guys, the participants of the distributed uh, uh, distributed design masterclass um, will be one of the first people to start this community and getting it going so that we can get more and more people involved and um, um, and uh, and it's and it's dynamic so even even for example if you do not have a resource or a tool but you have a service to offer for example uh, you're very good with electronics and you want to collaborate with someone uh, and someone is looking for a collaborator like you, uh, this is like the perfect platform to get in touch with people uh, to create collaborations. Um, and this will be quite useful uh, 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 during the project development and of course after for Hanoi Rethink. Uh, uh, Hanoi Rethink and uh, Hanoi a uh, creative city in uh, in general um but we will talk about it later during one of the classes as well in more detail uh but for now please go ahead and uh, join the community and uh, let's start sharing uh, so chị uh, Vitali vừa gửi một cái link vào trong chat box thì đó là một cái uh... Uh, forum để mọi người có thể uh, tương tác với nhau uh, sau cái buổi này uh, có, um, nếu mà bạn có câu hỏi gì cho uh, ban tổ chức hoặc là giáo viên thì có thể um, để lên đó uh, đồng thời uh, là trong cái uh, khóa học thì uh, và dự án uh, thì đây cũng là một cái uh, nền tảng đắc lực để hỗ trợ mọi người uh, tương tác và uh, um, trao đổi với nhau nếu mà uh, ai có khó khăn hoặc là uh, thiếu thốn gì về uh, công cụ hay là về uh, 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 cần sự hỗ trợ chuyên môn gì đó thì các bạn có thể uh, uh, tạo một cái request ở trên đây và những người khác có thể uh, hỗ trợ cho bạn. So um, the time now is 9.05. Um, maybe we have uh, enough time for the uh, last one or two questions.
Bằng Giang ơi, à, em vẫn đang raise hand, không biết là em có câu hỏi gì nữa không? À, em quên mất chưa họ thấy xuống ạ. À, ok, ok. Well, um, um, do we have any um, other remarks from the uh, from uh, Unido or from uh, the organizing team? Well, I would just like to thank everybody for joining today in that case, and, and thank you, um, Mai, for excellent moderating, as well as uh, Thank you, Jessica and, and, and Mitali for your interventions. And last but not least, thank you, Thao, for an excellent introduction. I'm very happy to, to see you here, all of you. And I hope uh, we will have lots of fun together in the coming weeks. So thank you very much from my end, too. Yeah. Thank you, Shell. Thanks as well. Same from the Faba Barcelona team. I think I can speak behalf on Daphne. I see her nodding. Um, so we are very happy to be part and we are obviously excited to, to go on this five week journey with you uh, in the near future. Um, so as I said, we are available for any questions and concerns and um, we're really excited to start this uh, Distributed Design Academy in this context with you. And we're looking forward uh, to the next week already. So I hope to see you all then. Thank you, Jessica. Um, so with that, we have come to uh, the end of the program. And um, I hope that uh, everyone finds the information shared today interesting and useful. And uh, I would like to thank uh, our partners, UNIDO, UNESCO, and UN Habitat for, uh, well, of course, the Fab City uh, team and Fab Lab Barcelona for making this initiative happen. Um, and last but not least, uh, I would like to thank our guests from uh, various Fab Labs, creative hubs, and uh, organizations and individuals supporting, designing, and making in Hanoi. So um, uh, thank you all for your active participation, and uh, we look forward to uh, building uh, uh, building Hanoi Creative City with everyone. Uh, good night, and don't forget that you can still post questions uh, on the Hilo platform or email us. And um, the recording of today's session will be up on the uh, uh, Notion page for the course website. And um, you can uh, share it with uh, your friends or colleagues uh, and spread the news about uh, this program, which is um, free to join and uh, meaningful. Um, yeah, thank you very much. So I'll, I wish you a good night. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Thank, Thank you. Bye bye. bye.